What's going on guys? I'm your casual gamer and in this video I'm going to share with you guys what I consider are the top 10 video game Android emulators you must have installed on your device. Let's get into it. Kicking things off with Super Nintendo's emulator SNES 9X EX Plus free on the Play Store. There are a few Super Nintendo emulators available on the Play Store, but I find this one to be the best. It's simple and basic, which is always good. You get your save and load states, fast forward, controller support, cheat code support, great compatibility, and good performance with this emulator. It just works well, and it's easy to jump into. Next at number 9 is the Nintendo 64 emulator M64 Plus, available free with ads on the Play Store. You will see a paid version for $4 that will remove the ads and add online play. Also saves cannot be transferred between the free and paid version, so if you prefer the paid version then buy this emulator from the start. I just use the free version and I'm okay with the ads. The emulator will run most of the N64 library with no issues and the performance will be good even if your device isn't that powerful. And you will have gamepad support. Number 8 is Ether SX2, a PlayStation 2 emulator free on the Play Store. And it's the only PlayStation 2 emulator you should be using on Android. The app uses OpenGL, Vulkan, and software rendering and can upscale games to 1080p if you have a pretty powerful phone or tablet. The emulator also supports gamepads. Now the only bad thing about this emulator is that it requires a BIOS, but you can find one with no problem after doing a quick Google search. At number 7, we have Duck Station, a free PlayStation emulator on the Play Store. This is a really good PlayStation emulator, and the best thing is, it has upscaling, texture correction, filters, and other ways to improve the graphics. There is also controller support, and the emulator has high game compatibility, so most of your games will play with no issues. You will also need a BIOS for this emulator as well, so once again, do a quick Google search and you should find it. Number 6 is RetroArch, free on the Play Store, it's an excellent multi-console emulator. The app is a front end where you download cores from the official website and each core acts as an emulator. And there are a lot of cores to choose from, even multiple options for a particular console. You can save and load states, use controllers and more. It may not be that simple to set up, but when you do get it set up, you will appreciate your emulators all being in one spot. Taking the halfway spot is the 3DS emulator, Citra. This is available free on the Play Store. This is the only way I recommend playing 3DS games on Android. You can upscale your game's resolution and use texture filters. There are save and load states, so you can pick back up wherever you left off in Pokemon. Oh, and we have controller support here as well. Now not every game is completely compatible yet, but the compatibility with Nintendo's exclusives are good here. Number 4 is Redream, a Sega Dreamcast emulator that you can download for free on the Play Store. Although to upscale your games and have more save states, you will have to pay $6 for the premium version. And I recommend doing so, especially if you have a pretty powerful phone. Just like the desktop version, the UI is beautiful. It has good game support and there is controller support. Overall, I love this emulator just like I love the Dreamcast.
My third pick is PPSSPP, the PlayStation Portable Emulator that is free to download on the Play Store. The emulator looks really good as well as your games when you upscale them. You can also save and load states, fast forward and use a controller. Now this emulator does require a pretty powerful phone or tablet to get the best graphics and frames and I will say that lower end phones will have some issues with this emulator. If you want some good GameCube and Wii emulation on your Android device, then you have to go with the Dolphin emulator. It has a good looking UI, good game support, controller support, although it won't work for most Wii games, but you're good on the GameCube side. And most important, the emulator is free. Honestly, there is no other emulator on Android that can do what Dolphin does. If you have a pretty powerful phone or tablet, you can upscale those graphics and have a pretty good time with this emulator. My number one pick is Drastic, a Nintendo DS emulator. Now, it's not free, it will cost you $5, but hear me out when I say if you want the best DS experience, here is where you would get that. And there are quite a few DS emulators to choose from in the Play Store, as well as Cores and RetroArch, but none can beat Drastic. All of the features on this emulator are good, and you can use a controller with Drastic, but it also has some good on-screen touch controls. And let's be honest, we really just want to play Pokemon games, right? Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my top 10 picks, or if you disagree with my top 10 picks, or if you feel I may have left an emulator out, that should have been on this list. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.